Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with a pickups uh, video from Trader Jack's Flea Market. I went down there myself, uh, you know, in September to check things out and just to uh, see what they got going on. I've picked through a number of different vendors there, but uh, I picked through one of the vendors there that I had not done since last summer. So this is Trader Jack's Flea Market in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania. So I purchased things from four different people. So starting off was a non trading card non-memorabilia purchase i bought a couple of face masks here one's a pittsburgh pirates one's a pittsburgh penguins mask they were five bucks each so i figured at this point not a bad idea to grab some of those so i got that then i went to a place uh, what caught my eye was they had a box a couple boxes with in-person signed cards they said that you know their mother had done a lot so i of signing you know had spent a lot of time with the team so i thought well i'll look through it but I also bought some other things from them. So I got three cards and three other items. Let me show you the three other items first. We got a 1992 program with Jay Bell on the cover. So that will be a TTM item. We got Phil Bork. 8x10 photo. This will also be sent TTM. At least that's the plans for these items. And... We got a Super Bowl 40 team photo. This will be held on to by me for different things like the Steeler Fan Blitz, Steeler Draft Party. You know, if there's a former Steeler who's signing for free or a really reasonable price, you know. Like I could have got, you know, Jeff Reed at the one signing he had. It was only 20 bucks, but I figured let's just hold off. There will be other opportunities. But yeah, for free signings, this would be a great piece just to get some people to sign it. So we had three photos, well, two photos, and a program. These picture frames I will just throw away. They, they don't mean anything really to me. But uh, So these three items plus these three trading cards, that'll be a TTM card there. Bobby Walden, I do not have him in my collection, and I do not have this other person in my collection. This other person does not sign autographs after some identity theft had occurred. Richie... Zisk. So I was looking up the autographs, you know, the certif the very few certified autographs out there, and um, it would appear to be a rushed signature, the in-person freebie signature, and yeah, I finally got the Richie Zisk in my collection because, truthfully, I'm not going to be able to meet him and get his autograph. He won't do it. So all six of those items cost me $19 total, $19. Moving on to the third person, which is the one I picked through. I will come back to that last, actually, as those actually have some nice vintage cards and a couple of autographs for my man crush and a very morbid item. <laughs> so uh, the fourth person I went to, I had been there before, and I knew they had this Bill Landrum program. And it was five bucks, which is realistically, that's too much to pay. But I got another item, which was also $5, so couple of them together, say 10 bucks for it, I was cool with it. This is going to go TTM. I'll send him a letter of request first for him. So we got Bill Landrum, who, you know, wasn't a bad starting pitcher by any means. And we have the Pokey Reese bobblehead. So I have already sent, <coughs> excuse me, I have already sent him a letter of request Send him, like, you know, three cards, a letter of request saying, you know, is it cool if I send you a Pokey Reese bobble, a bobblehead that I have of you? I'm a big Pirates fan, and, uh, you know, is there any charge for a donation required? So, we'll see. So, there was $10 there for the program and the bobblehead. Now on to the, the best items for sure. I made a little note to myself here that it would have cost $107 by this person's pricing. I ended up paying $75. All right. <coughs> so we got vintage cards here, mostly baseball. But I did look through some of the Steelers that he had there. And, and for the most part, there was a lot of cards that are in really good shape. So I got myself a Gary Dunn card I'll use for TTM purposes. There's the price. But realistically, I got it all for about 30% off. 
There's a Larry Brown. I have zero Larry Brown cards in my collection. I'm not entirely sure about his signing situation at the moment. Same with Dick Hoke. I'm not entirely sure about his situation. He had in the past, but we'll look into that. I mean, for a dollar. This is going in, like, cheapest to most expensive here. Len Dawson does sign TTM. I've never sent to him, but he's he's got great returns for a $5 donation, so there's one for him. Manny Mota has been signing recently, so I'll be sending out to him. Luke Walker, I'll be sending out to him. He's been signing. Well, I just sent him probably a couple months ago, so he's like one of those guys I'll send to twice a year, so he's kind of on the waiting list for me. I will not use multiple addresses, no. Some people do, and I kind of get it, and then most people do, and I don't get it. They're, they're just greedy, but uh, they can wait. <laughs> There's their Manny Mota. I think I just sent some cards to him. They haven't come back yet, but we got Dick Schofield. Art Shamsky, that's cool. I met him at the National, so maybe maybe along the way I'll get him again. If not, there's a a kind of a funny reference from Seinfeld. Jim Longboard's a good TTMer. There's Luke Walker again. Jim Mudcat Grant's a good signer, five bucks a card. Ronnie Klein's no longer with us, but uh, I work with a relative of his, so when I see a card like him for a relatively cheap price, you know, I'll definitely buy it. So, buck seventy five, knock thirty percent off of that, so you know, about a buck and a quarter when it was all said and done. Actually, it was even yeah, about a buck and a quarter. There's a commissioner award card. I need to look and see who's won that, so I can pick someone to send a TTM to. Burt Campanaris, good TTMer. I think both these guys TTM, because I got Don Money in person and then sent to Larry Colton, so I've already gotten this done, but I know Don Money is still signing. Gene Lamont's been signing TTM a little bit. There's Nara Campanaris. Chuck Hartenstein, I have a couple cards of him, and I just got another one, so I'll be sending him out first time very soon. Ty Klein, I've got a couple cards ready to go for him, and I've seen he's been signing TTM. MVP, this will be a Dick Grote. Uh, this will be sent out to Dick Grote, but I just got him about a month or two ago. I send to him three times a year, so he's on the waiting list. Bob Skinner, haven't seen a lot of returns back recently from him. He's had a little bit of a lull, so maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. And, uh, you know, that Bob Skinner and this card, they're both the 1960 cards, which they won the World Series that year in very dramatic fashion. So here's a, <coughs> here's a Hal Smith. It's already been autographed. Thank you. Ten bucks, so seven dollars. That's it for the cards. Now let's uh let me cover let me just slide the other two things out of the way first. This is pretty morbid, yet pretty cool in a way. Um Yeah. So I have Chuck Tanner's funeral card. Chuck Tanner, coach for the Pirates. World Series winning coach and a local guy, not too far away from where I live. Um, very likable individual, and I got his funeral card. Five dollars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're not a Pirates fan or if you don't have any f remotely close feeling of, you know, to um, Chuck Tanner, then you probably would be like, "What the bleep, there, math baller? That's terrible." I think it's awesome. Um, you know, this has to go in someone's collection who will appreciate it. So that's my morbid but kind of cool item for my Chuck Tanner collections. It's not autographed, but it's going to go right with my uh, Chuck Tanner autographs. And then I got two autographs from my man crush, Andrew McCutcheon. These were, I think he had them priced at 25 each. He had 25 each. To which, you know, I got for cheaper. Realistically, I paid about $15 each, which is exactly what I had in my mind here. So, um, these will look nicer. Pretty much all these will look nicer once I take them out of these beat-up top loaders. But <coughs> So, yeah, I got two of my Man Crush. There's an early signature. And I already have both of these, but I got duplicates now, which is always good, especially when it's your favorite player. So, yeah, there we go. I got two Andrew McCutcheon autographs and a very morbid item from Mr. Chuck Tanner, along with some other really good things here from Trader Jack's Flea Market. So, uh, you know, let me know what you think about this, because I think it's pretty stinking sweet. Um, you know, if there was a player whom you had a relatively close hometown connection to and also was a very important member of a team, would you buy something like that for five bucks? I don't know. But then you also got two... Items for my man crush here, which try to get these for $15 a piece anywhere. You know, 
tax free, shipping is free. It, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What was your favorite? I always appreciate it. if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.